Okay, so let's continue. So we, we just um, finished discussing the pictures um, tool under the illustrations group. And it's the same as the online pictures. The only difference is with online pictures, you have to have access to the internet and go online to look for a particular picture. So by default, um, you can search using Bing. So I'm looking for Ghana flag. I'll hit search or enter and the system should automatically give me some options depending on how strong your internet connection is. So I'm sure this one will take some time before it comes. Okay. So these are some of the pictures um, that will be made available to us. So we don't need to open a web browser to do that. So once I do that, I click on this, then I'll say insert. Boom, then it's inserted. So it will download and insert the picture for me. Instead of you going um, to open your browser, searching for the picture, downloading it into your document folder before inserting it. So once you insert the same tool that we discussed when we inserted it as an offline file comes, then we just go ahead to do our editing. So it's as simple as that. So basically, it is how you use the online pictures. Then let's talk about shapes. So we can also think of various shapes you can insert into your system. So it comes in various sections. These are recently used shapes. So we have the line sections, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrows, equation shapes, flow chart, stars and banners. Then we also have what? Color. So you just have to take your time, explore the various shapes. But what I'll do is I'll insert one for us to get that contextual tab, then we explore those features as well. So if maybe for an example, I'm looking at um, equation shapes. So once you hover the mouse, it gives you the name plus sign. You hover the mouse, it gives you the name minus sign. So if I come to stars and banners, this is ribbon titled down. So you need to take notes of the names if you really want to take the official microsoft excel exam and pass so once i click it gives me this particular cursor option so it means it's ready for execution so what i need to do is to just what draw hold down my left mouse button and drag so once i do that it is inserted then it gives me the drawing tools shape and all i need to do is to go through it so just like the shape styles we discussed, this one also comes with its own styles. So you go through, it, it, it comes with your name. So if for one or two reasons you want to change the shape, you can edit the shape or change the shape by clicking on it. If you, if you feel you want to insert a new shape, you click, then you come, you insert. You don't need to go back to insert and go to shapes because once you have the drawing tools, they're all available here. Then you can go through the various styles then you work with it so it's as simple as that so just explore the news are what shape fill so if you don't like the current color you can just go ahead change it well what about a shape outline okay i'll need an outline of white uh, let me make it red then we have what shape outline we also have the weight of it so you need to explore be a little bit curious so once i in increase the weight so anytime you see something like this, make sure you click to see what comes next. So you just click to at least explore and see what happens. Then also have what the gradient or the fill. So just explore. If you want it in the form of a texture, you can change it. So the options are numerous and available for you to use. So basically that is how you can use these tools for your work. So just keep exploring and keep working with it. And in no time, you have the required skills, which makes you a Microsoft Excel specialist in that particular regard. Then we can also talk about the shape effect. So with shape effect selected, we go through the preset, just as you saw when we inserted the picture. And this also comes with word add styles. So once you click, um let's see let me go back let me type in something in here 
good so once i select it i can just go through and apply white ads to this particular feature so i'll go for this particular color then you can also talk about text so so it's all about exploring and just finding out what these tools can be used for then you have text effect so i want you to explore see what happens then after I finish explaining everything, I'll give you a series of practice exercises which you will use for practice. Then um, let's go to text fill. I saw a feature, sorry. Uh, text effect, we have transform. So you can transform it in any other format. Okay, I think this is a pretty cool feature. I've not really used it. So anytime I pick the Excel application, I learn something new. We don't finish we are always learning so i come to home i try to increase the font size okay so it is within the context of this particular shape so if i increase it it also increases like that so that's uh, a pretty cool feature i've already gone over these tools you already know them so no need to go over again so basically that is um what we mean by the insertion of shapes so once you insert shapes you can add wide art features and all of that so in the next lesson i will take a look at smart art okay let me just quickly take a look at it so with the smart arts um, let's say you want to itemize stuff so you can do it in a professional manner or you want to demonstrate a process so the process of acquiring these skills is to first of all so i can just pick one of these processes um so what i need is something basic i click it is inserted so once it is inserted what do you need to get the skill so you first of all need to have access to the materials so once you have access to the materials what do you do you practice so access you learn first, you practice, then we need to add another shape. So because I inserted this smart ad, it gives me the smart ad tools. So if I want to add another shape, I can even come to the text pane over here. So once I click on the text pane, I can hit um, the tab key. Now tab key, key will just demote it. So let me promote it back to where it was. So I hit enter. Then it comes down one level i can just come and click on add shape here so you can add shape in any direction after or before so this is how you format your smart art graphic so access learn practice then finally you certify by taking the certification exam so once you do that you are good to go then you can also arrange this from right to left so once i do that certify practice learn access left to right then once I click on the shape, it gives me to move down, move down, or move up. So this is how we format it. Then you can also uh, change the colors. So we have that one outline, this, that. So as you go through, let me close this and try to move it here. Um, okay, let me move it here. So once I do that, you see a preview of it. So this is colorful range accent color five to six so you need to be aware of where to find these for the sake of the exam but you really don't need to memorize where they all are but just knowing where to find it is just fine so basically that is how it works so access learn practice certified then you can also have smart app styles smart app style so as i go through it you see the various styles available this is 3d and this also applies in microsoft word so even though it is excel you're getting a bit of knowledge in word and even in powerpoint so that is how interrelated the office suite is so we can go for this particular <coughs> style then if for one or two reasons you want to change it you just can you change it changes so you are not limited to one particular style so if this if this, if this is what you want you go for it then probably you don't want it anymore you just say reset what graphic then it goes back without 
um, the 3D effect. So if I want it, I click. Maybe I want something like this. And I can come and apply my colorful range. And we have convert to what? Shapes. So it's no longer a smart up graphic, but you can convert it back to what? Shape. So once it's back to shape, you get a drawing tools feature. Let me undo the conversion. Then let me talk about the format tab. So you can edit the 2D. Just explore all these features. We've already talked about it. So that is um, basically what it means for the smart art feature of our insert tab, which is under the illustrations group. Then we also have screenshots. So if I've opened this particular web page, I need, I need a screenshot of it. I'll just come to my Excel application, then I'll click screenshot. So I'll select screen what clipping. Then it will minimize the Excel. Then all I need to do is to take the portion that I need for my workbook. So once I, I do that, it takes a snap and insert it into the workbook and it works for Word as well. And it gives you the picture tools that um, the one we previously went, went through or went over. So it is um, as basic as that. So when it comes to insert, so basically that is what the illustration group is all about. So thank you for the time. Then when we meet next, we will pick one of the groups. I'll skip add-ins and we talk about charts briefly, explain what is there and what tools are available for your work. Then we look at spark lines, then we move in that order. But pivot tables and pivot charts and um, in certain slices will be talked about under Excel experts. So I'll give you a couple of exercises uh, just to help you understand how best you can use these tools. So see you in my next lesson.